So I got a 12 piece honey barbecue wing from Shark's Chicken. And this bad boy smelled good as hell. So after I get done with a few more reactions, I'm all up in that shit. What's up, TBS crew? It's your boy Steph back with another reaction. This time we got Sir Spook's five creepy videos you've never seen. Uploaded June 9th, 2019. Now down in the description will be links to Sir Spooks' channel, to this original video, and to all of my social medias. Get it your boy and see the personal life that I don't upload to YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into it. Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five creepy videos you've never seen. From allegedly real found footage tapes, to UFOs, and ghost sightings, you most likely haven't seen any of these creepy videos found online. So, let's begin. Hopefully not. This found footage tape was filmed by three 24-year-old males that went camping along the Amicalola River of North 24. Georgia Shit. on February 3rd, 2009. They were allegedly never seen again. According to the video uploaded to YouTube, a Sony Handycam was recovered from the scene of the disappearance. The tape shows the men filming their camping trip all the way from driving the car and buying supplies to arriving to the location. Or at least a location. Well, we just got done paying with change, and uh, you went to high school with that girl. Yeah, I was like, what? You? Yeah, she's like, that's because we went to school together. And I was like, uh. <laughs> she'll be like, so how's college? Uh, you get a degree in. Uh, they get lost and decide to set up camp some random place in the woods. For the next five minutes of video footage, they talk about all sorts of things and not much happens. But what happens next is unexplained. Okay, so before we get deeper into the video, let me let me ask y'all a question. Real talk. I've heard a lot of stories of people getting lost in the woods and in the forest and all that. And so they just decide to set up camp at the place that they're currently lost at, right? If you're lost and you don't know where you are, wouldn't it make more sense to double back the way you came from and go back to civilization or the next safest place that y'all passed up or where y'all came from or wherever? Does it really make sense to go ahead and just camp in the area that you admitted that you're lost in? That that just don't make sense to me. They gonna get got. They follow me everywhere I go. They are mad as hell. This isn't going to end well. So what can we make out of this? Dogs could be heard barking, and the sound of a weapon firing could also be heard. Were they perhaps on someone else's property who wasn't happy to see them there? Or were they kidnapped? They definitely appear to be on the run from whoever's chasing them, and maybe they ended up getting lost in the woods to never be found again. Even more lost. They deserve that. A ghost was caught on security cameras inside the Coral Cafe, Burbank, California, at 4.16 a.m. The video has nearly 2 million views on YouTube, but considering that it was uploaded in October of 2006, I'm assuming most of you guys are yet to see it. 
In the video, the ghost almost appears to be attacking the man cleaning the place. What the hell? I've seen that before. I forgot what it was in. What Let's show try and slow it? down some of the few frames that the ghost appears in. I've seen this clip. It was in a documentary or something. That's so fucking creepy, though. It literally goes down the hallway after him. And then it just hovers over him when he's actually in the diner part. Or the food court or whatever you want to call it. Dude, it's right on top. In the very last frame, it appears to touch the man. But what happens next is unknown. Considering the fact that they even decided to check the security cameras and release the footage to the public must mean that the owners believe the place will be haunted. That or they hoax the entire thing in an attempt to get more customers. Are people really going to be attracted to a place that's haunted except, you know, ghost enthusiasts? I don't think that's good for business. We're moving on to another found footage tape. This allegedly real found footage was found on the 27th of August 2009. It opens with a group of four guys talking about a scary location that they're about to go to. <laughs> this turns out to be a scary sewer. Soon after entering, they are stalked by a man wearing a creepy mask Here we go. and wielding what appears to be an axe. They run away, but he continues following them until he has caught every single one of them. I'm gonna have to censor multiple parts of this video, but of course there will be a link in the description if you want to watch the full thing. Oh shit. This may not actually be a real thing that happened. It's still a creepy and entertaining video. Why are you just Furthermore, sitting there? If it is a fake, then it's really well put together and the effects are great. Although you guys couldn't see those as I had to censor them. This is definitely one of the worst nightmares you could possibly imagine when entering a sewer with only one way to run. Why would you though? Why would you enter a sewer? Many UFOs were seen during the 80s and 90s in Gulf Breeze, California. And many videos were also captured during this incident. I'm going to show you one of those videos. This one shows a red light UFO. And this specific footage was filmed in March of 1993. Why would you even enter a sewer? I'm still on that. And why was the guy recording just sitting there? His friend is obviously dead. There's nothing you can do. And he got hacked up too. Y'all deserve that shit. I'm hoping it's fake though, but if it's not, y'all deserve that. I hate to say it. All the sightings began with a series of photographs captured by Ed Walters that he claimed to show a UFO. There were many people who believed this story, claiming the photos to be authentic, while many others deemed them a hoax because reporter Craig Myers managed to duplicate Ed Walters' UFO photos with great accuracy using a styrofoam model UFO found inside the home of Ed Walters. But considering the fact that so many compelling UFO videos were filmed in Gulf Breeze, maybe the photos really were authentic, as well as the countless videos released to the public. The Outer Realm, a documentary program about ghost hunting, caught something chilling on camera. During a paranormal investigation, they captured a spirit on a castle staircase. Already before capturing the ghost on camera, they sensed something paranormal at the area of the staircase. That's why they decided to set up an infrared camera. Wow. See, see that? I ain't got time for that. That I don't have time for. Got 
The way it appears and quickly disappears again is especially creepy. Could this be an actual apparition caught on camera? Or was it a hoax set up by the ghost hunters? I won't make a conclusion as it's hard to tell from this blurry footage. According to themselves, the video was viewed by experts in the field. What they thought about the footage wasn't stated in the video description. I'll try my best to enhance this footage so we can get a better look. Nah, bro. I'm cool. I'm good. What do you guys think? Real or fake? If you want to check out their channel and more of their work, no. link will of course be in the description. I'm good. And that was five creepy videos you've never seen. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. The one that got me the most was uh, the janitor. I guess that's what he was, in the diner cleaning it up, and that ghost was like following him around. Nah, bro. I'm cool. How are you cleaning your job up, and there's just this, this spirit, this presence, that's literally shadowing you, no pun intended, around the whole establishment, and you don't feel nothing, you don't see nothing, and it's only, you know, until further inspection, and when you look at the camera footage and you see that you were just being followed around the whole time while you were doing your job by a ghost, oh, <laughs> that's enough for a two-week resignation right there, oh, well, shit, I mean, <laughs> I might just quit as soon as I view that footage. <laughs> like, nah. Uh, this job ain't for me no more. That one definitely got me the most. But then you have the stupid ass motherfuckers that... First of all, you have the ones that were in the forest. They got lost and decided to camp. And then gunshots were heard. A barking dog. It sounded like they were on somebody else's property. And they may have gotten fucked up. Okay, that was, you know... They deserve that shit. Then you have... Then you have the motherfuckers who decided that it would be a good idea, right, to fuck around in a sewer and then got got because a guy with a creepy mask and an axe hacked them all down. Now, I'm assuming that that's fake and that the effects were just that good. But if it wasn't fake, they deserved every single moment of it. You know that these sewers have a bad reputation. Sewers in general have a bad reputation. They're foul, disgusting, some terrible, ugly things live in sewers. And you're going to go down there? You know, I, I will give y'all credit because y'all didn't go down there alone. Right? But at the same time, you still went down there and y'all still got got if it was real, which, you know, hey, it's, it'd be like that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. If you enjoyed the reaction, leave a like, a comment, and share the video. And if you really liked it, subscribe to the channel and tap that bell icon so you will get notified every time your boy Steph drop new content, which I do seven times a week. That is all I got for y'all this time around. Your boy Steph is out.